how I deep condition my hair when I'm in a rush, when I have somewhere to go and I don't have the time to sit under a dryer or to put a plastic bag over my head and just chill. I was really in dire need to deep condition my hair. It's been a minute, so I'm like, I gotta do it. Yeah, right now I do have deep conditioner in my hair, but I do have somewhere to go, so I'm a deep condition on the go so yeah and i'm still gonna slay it so i'll see you guys all in my next video hope you guys enjoy give it a thumbs up if you do love y'all what's up guys so i'm gonna show you guys how i deep condition on the go from start to finish so of course i do have to let the water run down my hair so i'm just letting that get all into there soaking it up and it honestly takes me forever to get my hair wet so now I'm going in with the main choice, detangling shampoo. I absolutely love this shampoo. Super moisturizing, helps me detangle my hair easier, especially when my hair is like in a matted state. And my hair was really matted here because I had this wash and go for like two weeks. So I'm just really working that into my scalp and then the length of my hair. And I'm just really getting that in there. So after that, I'm going to rinse out that shampoo. And then at the same time, I'm trying to finger detangle to make it easier to detangle when, I'm, when I apply the conditioner. And I don't know about you guys, but I can see that steam. I love my shower, it's real hot. <laughs> my BF hates it. So once I'm done shampooing my hair, it's on to conditioning. I like to use a regular conditioner first before doing my deep conditioner and this is the OGX Coconut Curls Conditioner. I absolutely love this stuff. I always use it for a leave-in as well. And while I apply this, I section my hair off into about four sections and then I finger detangle. And then I make sure to go in with a wide tooth comb to make sure that all the tangles are out. And once I do both sides, I'm just gonna rinse the conditioner out with warm water. And after that, I am going to wring out my hair as best as I can to take out all the water because your hair can only hold so much water and moisture and product in it. So um, I really want my hair to benefit off of this deep conditioner. So I'm just gonna wring it out and then apply the deep conditioner. And the conditioner that I'm using is the Shea Moisture Intensive Hydration Hair Mask because my hair was super dry, so I needed a really good hair mask or conditioner to penetrate my, my hair strands. So I'm just really working this in. It is a very thick product. I can say that it was my first time using it and I actually really, really like it. My hair was left super soft after I rinsed it out the next day. So yeah, I'm just really working that in. I also like to give myself a little head massage. Nothing wrong with stimulating the scalp for growth. And this is how it looks once I applied all the products throughout my hair. So now I'm just going to apply a little bit more water just to activate the product a little bit more because it kind of got a little bit dry, so yeah. And then I'm just going to put my hair up into a bun and move on to styling. So now it's time for styling. I'm just gonna take off my bun or take down my bun and I like to style my hair when it's super wet. If I didn't do it right away, my hair would dry up really quickly. I don't know, that's just how my hair is. So I'm just giving myself a little angled part and it's gonna go straight to the back of my head. And I like to do two braids when I'm doing a deep condition on the go. Like I said, I did not wash this out yet. The deep conditioner is still in my hair. So I'm just gonna part my hair up and then I'm going to do two braids, one on each side. And I also like to just put put down my little baby hairs so it could just give it a more polished look. And I just think it looks a lot better like that. You know, you don't look like a kid. And literally, I had to leave in like 20 minutes, so I had to rush this real quick. If you guys want a tutorial on this braid type of thing, I'm not the one for it. There's a lot of tutorials on YouTube that you can go check out. So, yeah, I'm just going to do that on the next side. You see Bae's coming through asking if I'm almost done but yeah I'm um, just gonna do the same thing on the next side braid it up girl braid it up and again like I said you can do one you can do two braids three braids four braids however much you want to just make sure that your hair is drenched in that deep conditioner and if you look on the ends of my hair, you can see how it's sort of white. That is the deep conditioner in there, but it is gonna absorb into my hair. 
So next up is to lay my edges and I am using conditioner as well as a control paste. So yeah, I just think that laying your baby hair just make the style look a lot better, but it's really up to you. So I just ended up leaving my satin scarf on for about 10 minutes and I'm just gonna take it off and it's really gonna have my hair laid, laid. So yeah, I'm not the best braider but it came out really, really nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys on the next one, love you. And of course the next day I did wash out the deep conditioner and I did a wash and go, which you guys will see in an upcoming video. So stay tuned for that.